everyone, I'm Sue and welcome to Sue Avery Designs where I bring you fast fun and adorable projects. In today's video lesson, I'm going to teach you how to make a super easy zipper bag. This zipper bag is really fast and easy to make and is perfect for using up scraps. So grab your machine and let's get stitching. All the tools and supplies, including the presser feet that you're going to need for this project are listed in the description below. You will need three different types of materials for this zipper bag. First, you're going to need to choose what your outside material will be, and you will need two of those, measuring 10 inches wide by eight inches tall. You will also need two pieces of material for your lining, also measuring 10 inches wide by eight inches tall. And then you will need two little zipper ends, one and a half inches wide by two inches tall. And you're also going to need a zipper. Now you can have a really long zipper, but ultimately we're gonna want it at least 12 inches long because we're about to do some fancy cut work to make it the perfect length for our zipper bag. Again, the length doesn't much matter because we're about to adjust it. Here's what you're gonna do. Open the zipper, pull down a couple of inches, and then smush together those zipper teeth so that they're kissing and wrap around with a piece of tape to secure it all in place. And now we're gonna take a pair of scissors and we're gonna be cutting through that little bit of tape. Now you're gonna to wanna to leave a little piece of tape there because the whole idea is that the zipper pull won't accidentally pull off. And now we're going to measure eight and a half inches from the very tippy tip of the zipper all the way to the very end. Now we're going to fold our zipper ends. Now with the width remaining at an inch and a half, you're gonna fold the length a half inch in with the right sides facing out so that the raw edges are touching and then you're going to fold it one more time so that the folded edges are touching and you can give those a press. These are going to be what kind of secures the little end of the zipper on both ends. And this will give a clean and professional look to our zipper bag. And now it's time to take those little zipper ends that we just created and wrap them around the end of the zipper. We're gonna be adding one of these to the bottom of the zipper and to the top of the zipper. Just clip it in place and you'll notice that it's really simple. You're just gonna pop it right into that little fold and you'll also notice that your materials are right side facing out. And now we're gonna to go to the sewing machine and do a little top stitching to secure that in place. Set your machine up with matching thread in the top and bobbin and a brand new needle and you're going to be using a regular standard presser foot for this application. Set your machine up for regular sewing and we're going to be taking those little zipper ends and we're going to be stitching pretty much like an eighth of an inch to the right of the end of that fabric. You can use a stiletto right here to kind of help feed along that material, back stitch at the end clip your little threads, and check it out. Now repeat it on the other side. This is a great application for these little clips too because it kind of holds them in place and you don't have to kind of figure out how to get a straight pin through all those layers. Again, the stiletto is a wonderful notion to have because it acts as a third hand, getting in places that your fingers can't always get in. Now we're going to do a little bit of trimming on our zipper ends. We want to make sure that the end of each side aligns with the zipper tape. So just pop those little ends off and you can kind of true it up and make sure they look really nice just like this and discard the extra materials. To begin inserting the zipper, we're only going to need one lining and one outside piece and of course your zipper. Now fold that zipper in half with the wrong sides facing together and you're going to place a mark on the zipper tape itself. Now widthwise, fold your outside material in half and place a mark along the very top edge. Again, that would be 10 inches wide. You're gonna take your zipper and you're gonna turn it wrong side facing up, aligning the center and align the top edge of both the zipper and the outside. Now take your lining and place them right sides together with the outside and sandwich that little zipper inside. And now we're going to attach all three layers, the outside, the zipper, and the lining. 
Now you can use straight pins, but I find it's a little tricky to get through all those layers, and I think these little clips are fantastic for an application just like this. You're gonna put clips along the top edge, connecting those three layers, and definitely make sure that it's covering the zipper itself. Now you are gonna to want to use a zipper foot, so check your user manual and make sure you have one, and set the needle position to align perfectly, and we're gonna sew right across that top seam to attach our zipper. Now on my particular machine, I do have a zipper foot, and I can adjust my width or my needle position on my machine so that the needle goes right through that positioning on the zipper foot. For me, I didn't need to adjust anything. I just wanted to move the needle and make sure it's all gonna fit. Now you'll notice that my presser foot is technically on the right-hand side of the zipper. See? Now, you are gonna wanna open up your zipper, so just pull that little zipper pull down so that way the presser foot doesn't get bumpy over top of the zipper. Take your time and sew along, making sure that all of those long edges are aligned. Once you get to a certain point, you can go ahead and close the zipper, basically just pulling that zipper pull straight back up and continue sewing. You'll notice that I am using my stiletto just because it helps me get right in that area. And you're gonna sew all the way to the end of the material, backstitch, clip your threads, and you have just inserted one side of your zipper. Now it's time to go to the ironing board and you're gonna press that seam nice and flat and just kind of be aware that that zipper pull is still underneath there. Now open up your lining and your outside and press the zipper flat, but open to one side. And then the last is you're going to flip the lining downwards and you're going to smooth everything out and you're going to press the entire zipper all the way over. Now it's time to attach the other side of our zipper bag and we're going to do it exactly the same way as we did before by sandwiching all the layers together. Now head back to your sewing machine and stitch exactly like you did before. We're gonna sew all the way down from one edge to the other, stitching the other side of that zipper into our project. Just remove the clips as you go along and remember, just like before, we're going to need to adjust our zipper pull up and down as needed so that it stays out of the way of our presser foot. And just like before, when you're all finished, you're going to backstitch at the end, clip your threads, and now we're not gonna show it, but you're gonna press that seam just like you did before. When you're all finished pressing your seam, it's gonna look something like this with your outsides and your linings together. And now it's time to sew the side seams. Now you'll notice here that I have my seam allowances at that top where the zipper is opposite of one another. There you go. And you're going to just make the seam itself completely butt up, but with the seam allowances in opposite directions. And you'll notice that we are pinning the outside to the outside and the lining to the lining. Go ahead and pin the full length all together of the outside and the lining. And now that you have one side completely finished, flip it around to the other side, and you're gonna do the same thing. Now pay attention to which direction the seam allowances are going on that first side that you pinned, because you're gonna to wanna to repeat and put the seam allowances in the exact same direction. And just like before, you're going to attach the straight pins all the way connecting those raw edges, just like that. So a half inch seam allowance along both sides, and you are gonna use a regular straight stitch foot. Changing presser feet on your machine should be something that is easy and that you're comfortable doing, so get in the habit of doing that. Also, make sure that your needle is adjusted back to the center needle position and that you know right where a half inch seam allowance will be. And now let's go ahead and sew our first side seam. You'll notice we are sewing the entire thing, the lining, all the way to the outside. And of course, remember to remove your straight pins as you are sewing along. Now when you get to the zipper area, kind of smush it down and you'll feel where you're gonna to need to sew over it. 
but I have to tell you that you're gonna wanna make sure that your zipper is open. Open it at least halfway. So right here, grab hold of that zipper pull and open it up. Now go back to sewing your side seam and as you're sewing over that little zipper end, just make sure you're not catching the zipper end in your seam. We are only sewing that side seam allowance. And remember we're sewing at a half inch seam allowance. Go all the way to the end and back stitch. Clip your threads. And now we're going to repeat on the other side seam. This time we're starting at our outside back stitch. Sew all the way straight down. And again, remember once you get to that seam, you're going to continue with a half inch seam allowance, but you just don't want to stitch over the actual zipper end. And once you get to the end, back stitch, clip your threads, and there you go. Now while we're at our sewing machine, we're gonna go ahead and sew the bottom front seam for the outside. Same half inch seam allowance, just sew from one edge to the other, back stitch, clip your threads, and there you go. And now for the lining, you're going to sew from one edge all the way until about four or five inches, back stitch, clip your threads, and you're going to measure the area for an opening. And I used about three inches for the opening because that's pretty easy to get my hand into it or a turning device. Now you're going to leave that section of three inches completely unstitched. They go to the beginning of where the pin was and you're going to back stitch so the continuation of the bottom lining seam backstitch once again clip your threads and now you've got your seam for your bottom lining and you've got a nice little opening so that we can turn our zipper bag right sides out and now it's time to do a little bit more pressing you're going to press all of your seams nice and flat that's both side seams the outside bottom seam, and of course the lining bottom seam. When you get to where the zipper is, just kind of squish it down and get your iron right into that little area and press it nice and flat. Miter all four corners of your bag, that's the outside and the lining. And this will help when you're turning things right side out. And now it's time to turn our zipper bag right sides out now get your fingers in there and grab hold of that zipper pull and open it up as wide and as much as you can. Then turn your bag right side out. And my preferred method is to use the easy point and turner. This is a really handy way that will save strain on your wrist and makes it really easy to turn things right side out. And once you've got your bag turned right sides out, we're gonna go ahead and use a bamboo wooden point turner to get into the corners and make sure that those corners are nice and crisp. And the bamboo point turner will help you do this. And you're going to go to all four corners, the outside and of course the lining as well. Just be careful not to poke through to the outside of your material. You don't want to hurt that seam. And now let's go back to the ironing board and pop open those little zipper ends with your fingers. And now it's time to give our little bag some pressing. You'll notice that I'm pressing the outside first and kind of rolling along on the seam. Press a little, roll a little, make sure it's nice and flat. Now let's repeat the process for our lining. And remember, on our lining, we've got that opening. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we press that seam nice and flat because we are gonna go back to the sewing machine and stitch this up. Once you've finished that seam, you can kind of see right there, you're going to turn your lining and pop it inside of your outside. Just kind of expand your hands and squish it all in there. Make sure it lays nice and flat. And now it's time to give our bag another good pressing. Adjust the zipper and roll the zipper so that it's nice and flat. 
and just continue to do a little finagling and rolling and pressing until you're satisfied with how the bag looks. And one of the things I like about this marking pen is when I'm all finished, I can just simply remove it with the other end of the marking pen. Now you can go back in with your point turner and poke a little extra and especially around those zipper ends, you can just pop it right through there and give it another good press. The finish with these zipper ends is so professional. And now your bag is completely finished. You can fit all kinds of stuff in your little zipper bag. You can use this for sewing tools, notions, give these away as gifts, sell them at craft fairs, make them truly custom and unique to the person you're giving them to, make them in all different kinds of colors, make the linings fun and different and unique and pop. Just have some fun with these. They are super fast and easy, and now that you know the basic principles, you can even make them in different sizes. So what did you all think of the zipper bag? I can't wait to see which colors you make with your zipper bag.